So thank you very much for the opportunity to say a few words and I look forward to having a look around the centre later on. Thank you very much for all you're doing and it's a great privilege to be able to declare it officially open. Thanks a lot. Um, when I trained in the early 80s, these were very new. So basically, something wouldn't happen now is after a patient died, mm -hmm. you yeah. would intubate the dead patients or immediately after. But it does what I was saying. It's a good life cycle in 2005. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Well, we'll find out because if we put this is the great, well, this is the great thing to see. So we shall we find out. If you recall, it's an esophageal intubation. <laughs> oh, it's, one the, it's one of those things that we actually make. And what we teach us to do is. Well, we might come back at the end and, uh, <laughs> and give you some more. Uh, well, people did practice on the supervision yes, and yes. On, on patients, but obviously it's not ideal. Yes. And you, you know, it's not perfect. This is a much better way to do it. Yeah. 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 This is obviously a much more expensive model, but we can also demonstrate giving drugs. We can demonstrate taking blood pressures. And, um, can you practice patients. putting in a lure on one of these? No, but we have a separate simulator, which you can do, which is designed specifically for that. So we can teach people the basic lure skills. Uh, and we can even teach them epidurals on an epidural simulator. Uh, but uh, this is the, the Minister of Health who's visiting us. Good afternoon. I'm just coming to check on the service. Very good. This is Mrs. Billing, she's just actually waking up with an air. He looked up at me and said, Oh God, you did not operate it. I thought that was pretty funny. Thanks for coming to the TV. You don't mind if I just show the minister one or two things? No. I have to say, I'll just 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 say, so, as you were saying, we can make sure that we can see the data of the baby, and then we can teach people in the presentation and so forth there. And you'll see the process of the laboratory, which is breaking our way up. And all these are those on the other. Those are very realistic in the cases as uh, measures of the various things. It's actually a tube that runs down here, and we can tie the tube to the main jet. As far as I can see, they give it to the baby, right. and the baby will respond to the night it's fit, but the phone is actually being collected off the Okay. Yes. But they don't see that. No, so, all those little techniques for quite a So, we actually have some way to improve the shell and that's actually not what I think on that as well. It's not quite published in the data. It's because the sepsis is usually the correct answer. No, it's the way in which the doctors and nurses are administering them needs to be improved. She starts feeling better at all. Uh, and she's feeling really well. <laughs> ECG and blood pressure and saturations, everything that we would uh, realistically see in yes. a real patient. Gosh. If you were being an either those, that is the sort of failure that you would see. I could probably give you one of my sort of speeches if you want to bet my I've often said that in patients myself. So what we're doing at the moment, Tony, is we're just filling Jackie's lungs full of oxygen before she goes to sleep, which is a very important safety measure. And you can see that as she exhales, that little wavy white line at the bottom there, it's measuring her exhaled CO2. And this is so realistic that if I take this mask off, that will go away because she's actually exhaling the CO2 into the simulator. Everything's fine, Jackie, you're doing great. To Mr. Ryle, how this all works. And all these physiological parameters you see here are very realistic, they're exactly what we would expect to see. The ECG, the blood pressure, the oxygen levels in the So, Jackie, would you mind following the mask on? Now, Jackie, we're about to put you off to sleep. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do for me is to keep your eyes open until you go to sleep, so we can tell when you go to sleep. Just as you go to sleep, Jackie, I'm just going to press the L okay? Okay, you said that before. Yeah, that's just something that we do. Yeah, 
Check it. It's time to think about being somewhere nice. We're going to look after you. And we'll see you when you wake up in recovery, okay? And sometimes this stuff feels a little bit warm as it goes in through the veins. It won't last very long though, okay? Cool. Nice deep breaths. Keep your eyes open for me. Just think about being somewhere nice. Have a look. I think you get right over and have a look down. You can just see the vocal cords there. Yep. yep. Those white things. Yep. Okay. You give me the. So I'm just going to, as I pass this down, just putting the tip of the tooth through the vocal cords. Style it out. So, see if we stopped breathing there, yeah. and now if I've got it in the right place, we'll start getting CO2 back. There you are. And we are. So, and now I'm going to turn on an anesthetic agent. Yeah, sure. We're going to take the tripods off the piece. Off. We've got her on the ventilator now, so yeah. she's now being ventilated by the machine. And we're just going to tie this tube in to make it secure in the same way that we do for infection. Now at this point, or at any point during that, that scenario, my minder behind that glass could have made any number of bad things happen. Right. And we would have had to respond, respond accordingly and yeah. give the appropriate drugs. So now's a good time for us to just make sure all our parameters are looking good. We've got a good pulse rate, blood pressure's fine. Oxygen saturation is a good. We've got CO2 coming back. We're ventilating. We've got an anaesthetic agent on, and you notice that we're actually starting to see the yeah. traces of an anaesthetic agent in the expired gas, just yes. like you would have in There's nothing about what you just saw yeah. that is different to a real. Yeah. We're the pioneers of something. Yeah. The idea that we need to teach people from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's like in the airplane simulations where they're taking short cuts, yes. and then they go back into the real. And they we do the shortcuts instead of the right off thing. Okay. So we put a lot of emphasis on, on the basic things as well as the cutting. Yes. But typically you would have a surgeon and we would have nurses. And and a lot of what would be interested in when something would now go wrong, so such as for example how the risk program like this, it would be how people work together. Oh, and that's okay. the thing that we do wrong. And so when you've got your yes, you're doing a problem or something, you can actually have your large group of people around. Absolutely. We would have a surgeon getting gowned, we would have a scrub nurse preparing the instruments, we would have a circulating nurse, which was Nikki there, and an anaesthetic technician, which was Murray. I mean, I'm going to I like can't help it. No, it right. feels to me like I've just given this person an anaesthetic that yeah. I've got to keep an eye on. To me, it does not feel like there's anything here. But I noticed you also took it all very seriously in telling everything that we were And some of that, you know, we do have some sponsorship and support. Baxter, for example, uh, provides the uh, paper that we use mm -hmm. uh, in return for naming rights of the theatre. They provide us much more cost because otherwise we're very expensive. This is real anesthetic agent and it's responding real, you know, there's real levels coming out of here. I'm not sure if she's just going to the process and it's yeah, well, actually, there's real gas that's coming out and being analysed on this machine, yeah. and that is obviously being.